Hello, everyone. Thank you all for joining us today. My name is Sergeant Timothy Parati. I'm the Media Relations Officer for the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team. I'm joined today by Assistant Commissioner David Tabuld, Federal Policing Officer in Charge, Pacific Region. Superintendent Mandeep Mooker, Officer in Charge of the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team. Assistant Commissioner Brian Edwards, Officer in Charge of the Surrey RCMP Detachment. And Corporal Sarbj Sarbjeet Sangha, Media Relations Officer with the Surrey RCMP Detachment. We're here today to provide an update regarding the investigation into the homicide of Hardeep Singh Niger. Statements will be read by Assistant Commissioner Taboul and Superintendent Mooker, both of which will also be read in French. Following the statements and comments by Assistant Commissioner Edwards, there will be a question and answer period. Corporal Sangha is available to assist with any questions requiring Punjabi translation. Le commissaire adjoint Taboul et le superintendent Mooker liront tout d'abord des déclarations en anglais puis en français. Following the question and answer period, myself and Assistant Commissioner Taboul will be available to answer questions in French, while Corporal Sangha will be available to answer in Punjabi. Après la période de questions, la uh, commissaire adjoint Taboul et moi-même seront à votre disposition pour répondre aux questions or two questions in français. I'll now turn the microphone over to Assistant Commissioner Tabool. Good morning, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Assistant Commissioner David Tabool, Commander of the Federal Policing Program in the Pacific Region. Bonjour et merci de vous être joint à nous aujourd'hui. Je suis le commissaire adjoint David Teboul, chef du programme de la police fédérale de la région du Pacifique. Si vous avez des questions en français, s'il vous plaît, n'hésitez pas à les poser. Today, we are here to announce significant developments about the investigation into the murder, the murder of Hardeep Singh Nijer that took place on June 18th, 2023, in Surrey, BC. Following many months of investigative work by the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team, with close collaboration assistance from the Federal Policing uh, Program in BC, RCMP National Headquarters, the Surrey RCMP Detachment, and other partner agencies, three suspects have been arrested and charged for their alleged involvement in the killing of Mr. Najjar. Now, with unequivocal commitment to the administration of justice, and with reverence to the upcoming judicial process on this matter, we are not able to make any comments about the nature of the evidence collected by police, nor can we speak about the motive behind the murder of Mr. Niger. However, understanding uh, this situation has attracted considerable and very broad public interest, I will say this matter is still very much under active investigation. I will underscore that today's announcements are not a complete account of the investigative work currently underway. There are separate and distinct investigations ongoing into these matters, certainly not limited to the involvement of the people arrested today. And these efforts include investigating connections to the government of India. The RCMP Federal Policing Program, IHIT, our municipal partner agencies, are responsible for protecting Canadians from the most serious criminal threats posed by domestic and international criminals. Today's enforcement actions demonstrate our relentless commitment and ability to combat the most sophisticated threats and complex criminality facing our nation. Here today we have Assistant Commissioner Brian Edwards, officer in charge of the Surrey RCMP, who will be available with Superintendent Mooker and I to answer any questions you may have at the conclusions of this press briefing. But first, I would like to congratulate the men and women of IHIT for the outstanding dedication and the results achieved. I would also like to thank the RCMP National Security Program, particularly here in BC, for their unparalleled work ethics and dedication to serve our country uh, on the separate investigative efforts underway. And also thank Surrey Detachment for their continued and seamless collaboration and support. The commitment and skills of these investigators are second to none, and I'm very proud of their work and their accomplishment. Nous sommes ici pour vous informer de progrès important dans l'enquête sur le meurtre de M. Hardeep Singh Nijer, qui a eu lieu le 18 juin 2023 à Surrey, en Colombie-Britannique. 
À la suite d'une enquête qui s'est étendue sur de nombreux mois, menée par l'équipe intégrée d'enquête sur les homicides, avec la collaboration et l'assistance de membres du programme de la police fédérale en Colombie-Britannique, la direction générale de la GRC, le détachement de la GRC de Surrey et d'autres organismes partenaires, trois suspects ont été arrêtés et des accusations ont été déposées contre eux relativement à leur implication présumée dans le meurtre de M. Hardeep Singh Nijer. Aujourd'hui, en raison de notre engagement sans équivoque envers l'administration de la justice et par respect pour la poursuite judiciaire à venir sur cette affaire, nous ne sommes pas en mesure de faire des commentaires sur la nature des preuves recueillies par la police, ni de parler du mobile du meurtre de M. Nidger. Toutefois, étant donné que l'affaire a suscité un intérêt considérable de la part du grand public, je peux vous dire que l'enquête se poursuit. Je tiens à souligner que l'annonce aujourd'hui ne constitue pas un compte-rendu complet du travail d'enquête euh, couramment en cours. Des enquêtes distinctes sont actuellement menées sur différents dossiers, euh, aspects du dossier, qui ne se, li se limitent certainement pas à l'implication des personnes arrêtées aujourd'hui, dont un examen portant sur l'implication du gouvernement de l'Inde. Le programme de la police fédérale de la GRC et l'équipe intégrée d'enquête euh, sur les homicides, nos organismes municipaux partenaires, ont la responsabilité de protéger la population canadienne contre les menaces graves que posent les criminels nationaux et internationaux. Les mesures prises aujourd'hui démontrent notre engagement et notre capacité à combattre les menaces criminelles les plus sophistiquées et les plus complexes auxquelles no notre pays fait face. Le commissaire adjoint Brian Edwards, officier responsable du détachement de Surrey, en compagnie du surintendant Mooker et moi-même, seront à votre disposition pour répondre à toutes les questions que vous pourriez avoir à la fin de ce point de presse. Tout d'abord, je voudrais féliciter les membres de l'équipe intégrée d'enquête sur les homicides pour leur dévouement exceptionnel et pour le travail qu'ils ont accompli dans le cadre de cette affaire. Je tiens également à remercier les membres du programme de sécurité nationale de la GRC, en particulier ici en Colombie-Britannique, pour leur éthique de travail inégalée et leur dévouement au service de notre pays dans le cadre des différentes enquêtes en cours, ainsi que le détachement de la GRC pour sa collaboration et son soutien continu et sans faille. La détermination et les compétences de ces enquêteurs sont sans pareil, et je suis très fier de leur travail et de leur réalisation. I will now invite Superintendent Mooker, who will provide you with additional details of this investigation into the murder of Mr. Niger. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Superintendent Mandy Mooker, and I'm the officer in charge of the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team. On June 18th, 2023, Hardeep Singh Niger was fatally shot and killed as he departed Guru Nanak Sikh Gurdwara in Surrey. Shortly thereafter, I was called into conduct of this investigation. Over the past 10 months, I has led an investigation in partnership with internal and external partners to advance this investigation. Through complex investigative techniques and tremendous support from the community, we were able to gather significant evidence that led us to the individuals that were responsible for this homicide. I'm here today to announce that we arrested and charged three individuals for first-degree murder and conspiracy to commit murder in relation to Hardeep Nijer's homicide. I had investigators along with Edmonton Services Edmonton Police Services and numerous other RCMP resources took custody of all three of these individuals in Edmonton, Alberta. The following three individuals were charged for this homicide. 22-year-old Garn Brar, who's an Indian national, who is residing in Edmonton, Alberta. 22-year-old Kamalpreet Singh, who was an Indian national, who was also residing in Edmonton, Alberta. 28-year-old Karnpreet Singh, who is also an Indian national, residing in Edmonton, Alberta. We will be disseminating photos of these accused men in hopes of uh, any information in relation to their presence in Surrey during the time of the offense. This investigation does not end here. 
We are aware that others may have played a role in this homicide, and we remain dedicated to finding and arresting each one of these individuals. At this time, I want to take a moment to recognize and thank CFSUBC, Edmonton Police Service, and Surrey RCMP Detachment for their unwavering dedication from the onset of this investigation. I would also like to thank the Nidger family, the citizens of Surrey, and the Guru Nanak Sikh Gurdwara Executive for their patience and understanding. We understand that the community is going to have a lot of questions. However, at this time, as this process is going through the court process, we may not be able to answer all the questions. In closing, I would like to say how proud I am of the IHID investigative team, along with the investigative support unit, for their dedication and determination and to continue this file to find out everyone that was responsible for the murder of Hardeep Nidger. I'd like to pass on now to Assistant Commissioner Edwards. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon to everyone that is here. Uh, my comments will be brief. The murder of Mr. Niger at the Scott Road Gudwara was outrageous and it was reprehensible. It had a profound impact on the residents of Surrey. And notwithstanding today the announcing of charges, those scars will remain in our community for some time. However, I want to share this, that from day one, this community came forward to work with and alongside the police in advancing this investigation. Critically important was the executive of the Scott Road Gudwara, whom I met on July 19th, 2023, approximately one month after the murder of Mr. Niger. Despite their intense grief and pain, those representatives of our community, they provided their support, their patience, and their trust in the police to move this forward. Investigations in Canada are complex and they're very, very onerous and they take time. As such, the support from those individuals and in the community at large was essential in getting it to the, where we are today. So the message that I want to end with is, is this. Our community is extremely strong. It won't be intimidated and this community will work with the police and alongside the police to hold offenders accountable. We would not be here today if that wasn't the case. Thank you. I'll now open up to a question and answer period. Before we take the first question, we'll just have some ground rules. Uh, please state your name and who you'd like to direct your question to. If you'd like to ask your question in Punjabi, what we'll do is have Corporal uh, Sangha come up, repeat the question in English to whoever it's addressed to, and then she can translate the answer back into Punjabi. So we can start with whoever's first here. Uh, yes, if you like. So anyone that had contact with these individuals during the time of the offense, which would be in June 2023 in the Surrey area, if uh, you have any interaction with them or you observe them, uh, we're asking that you call the IHIT uh, tip line and uh, relate that information to us uh, in, in the hopes of building a timeline. Unfortunately, those are different uh, investigations that uh, we are not currently a part of. How, however, we are coordinating with all agencies throughout Canada um, on a whole various uh, or 
whole different um, investigations right now, um, but I can't speak to their investigation, unfortunately. So we are investigating if there are any ties to the government of India. However, uh, as I said, it's an ongoing investigation and I don't have any information to provide on that matter at this time. What's the immigration status of these individuals? Uh, currently, uh, all three individuals are non-permanent residents in Canada. However, I can't speak to their specific immigration status. Uh, they provided members and support throughout our investigation, along with intelligence. And why, was, why were the information sheets sworn in Spruce Grove? Um, I would have to get back to you on that piece. Do you think criminal suspects? Uh, currently, we believe that there may be others involved, uh, and therefore uh, there may be potential arrests or charges for others as well. And would they be in Alberta as well? I can't speak to that. Can you speak about the partner agencies, whether they involve um, overseas um, in the US or the UK or Australia? So we have been liaising with international partners and uh, we have collaborated with them on this investigation. All of those or any particular? I can't speak to exactly who. Were the three men arrested, were they known to the police before? They were not known to the police. Have you been getting much cooperation from India? Uh, I can't speak to that piece, but maybe Assistant Commissioner to again. So I, I could tell you that uh, the federal policing program has um, uh, collaborated and communicated with partner agencies uh, in India uh, and that collaboration at uh, communication continues to this day. Uh, I would, well, I'll be frank, I'll correct, ca characterize that uh, collaboration as uh, rather challenging and difficult uh, for the last several years. However, uh, the RCMP is very committed to continuing to establish a working relationship from a law enforcement to law enforcement agency, so we're going to continue our efforts, but it's been difficult. Sir, you, you said it dated back how many years? Several years. Oh, listen, over the last, uh, uh, I'm, I'm talking in my tenure in federal policing, it's been several years. I would argue uh, the last six, seven years. Absolutely, monsieur. Nos relations entre la GRC et les agences indiennes. Oui, notre collaboration avec les agences d'application de la loi uh, indiennes ont commencé, je dirais, il y a six ou sept ans, durant ma, ma présence, évidemment, à, à la police fédérale. Uh, je, je, je peux caractériser cette relation comme une relation qui est difficile, uh, pour plusieurs raisons, auxquelles je ne peux pas, je peux pas élaborer. Uh, mais, uh, mais toutefois, la GRC est, uh, est très uh, est dédiée à, à, à l'amélioration de, uh, de, de cette relation et l'établissement d'une relation productive entre deux agences d'application de la loi, la Gendarmerie royale du Canada et la, la police uh, nationale uh, indienne. Dans quelle direction va l'enquête à partir de maintenant? Uh, de quelle enquête parlez-vous? Parce que comme je l'ai dit un peu plus tôt, uh, comme je l'ai dit un peu plus tôt, il y a plusieurs enquêtes en cours. Il y a l'enquête évidemment des homicides pour laquelle nous sommes ici uh, pour parler des résultats de trois personnes arrêtées et accusées. Mais comme je vous l'ai dit au départ, euh, il y a aussi euh, l'existence de plusieurs autres enquêtes en cours actuellement qui sont euh, très actives. Again, I won't be able to speak to their immigration status, but they have been here between three to five years. Uh, altogether, three to five years. What would you say to the uh, community that might be a little bit alarmed with that idea? 
Uh, what I would say is there's always the potential on these type of investigations because of how complex it is. That's why these individuals were charged with the conspiracy uh, to commit murder. So there may be others involved. We don't ever want to say um, that yeah, the investigation has stopped. Uh, however, um, we have been uh, partnering with all of our um, partner agencies to make sure that the community is safe. Um, I think that would be, what we would want to say is throughout the court process, the evidence will show the roles that these individuals played. Then I would uh, suggest that the community would be able to really understand the roles of what these people actually did. So I would let the evidence speak to what their assumptions for these individuals would be once they go through the court process. And they were arrested Correct. Yeah. Are you able to say whether these three men at the time of the arrest were together or were they arrested separately? Arrested separately. Were, were American uh, agencies involved at all? And is there an access with their investigation that they'll be charged with last year? That's good. Can I answer that? Uh, Superintendent Mooker earlier uh, made reference to uh, our collaboration with uh, partners, both domestic and foreign. And um, I can confirm that we've had constant and we continue to have constant collaboration with uh, agencies, uh, again, both domestic and, and international. Uh, and that includes agencies in the United States. Is there an excess with their investigation and the charges that happened last year? Uh, you're referring, uh, I'm assuming, about the, the, the Mr. Pernoon, the indictment. Um, the, I can't comment really any further on that and their indictment or the ongoing investigations that we have. Uh, however, um, they are uh, mutual, of, of these investigations are, are of mutual interest. Sorry, uh, go again with your questions. The connections to? Yeah, how are today's arrests connected to the Edmonton shooting deaths of our free couple and his 11 year old son, Gavin? So, thank you for the question. Great question. I can't comment again, as uh, Superintendent Mooker uh, stated earlier, on another agency's active investigation. What I could tell you is uh, within the federal policing program, uh, a coordination team was born uh, specifically out of the RCMP here in BC to support and collaborate with um, all the other domestic agencies that have a variety of investigations underway uh, currently. So I will not comment on that specific investigation except to tell you that we are uh, very aggressively collaborating with all our partner agencies across the country. So they will be required to be here by Monday morning. Can you unpack which partner agencies or units within the RCMP you worked with? Was INSET involved? Uh, which divisions were involved? There was numerous uh, partner agencies internally and externally that were involved. INSET was one of them, definitely. Um, but we had a whole collaboration of agencies and units that we worked with. Uh, the list would uh, go on and on. Uh, I would say at least three or four provinces. I'm not going to speak to exactly what provinces because we do have ongoing investigations currently. Can you say anything more about the huge potential suspects and arrests? Are they definitely still in Canada? How many people is it? Again, when it comes to ongoing investigations, I will not speak to that. Uh, just to jeopardize any of those investigations, um, I, I can't speak to that at this time. The allegations are that What links do these three co-accused have to the Indian government? So right now, we're investigating their ties, if any, to the Indian government. Uh, however, that's part of our ongoing investigation. Can you confirm what date the men were arrested and provide more details about the circumstances under which they were arrested? They were arrested this morning, uh, all in Edmonton, um, and at differing times. I don't have those times. Were they at um, from my information, two of the individuals were at home, one was not. Given the location of the, the conspiracy offense, they, it's safe to say you're alleging they planned the murder here from Edmonton? Again, that would be part of the evidence and I won't speak to that at this time. It's, it's in the charge sheet. 
The conspiracy could be either planned here or in Edmonton. It could be either or. The evidence is going to show what the timeline of that conspiracy and when it occurred. Were the members of, were the members of the temple of Gurdwara here or in Edmonton or anywhere else? I don't have that information. So besides what was the circumstance today? Did they resist arrest? Did they cooperate? The three men were taken in custody without any issues or concerns. Would you, be, would you be releasing their last name or their alias names or previous names? Uh, we've re we're going to be releasing their legal names. Besides Hadith Singh Richard, there has been threat to other Sikh activists as well. So do these suspects have any link to them? Have they made any collaboration, any evidence? What I can say is that we are investigating the murder of Hardeep Nijar, and that's what I can speak to at this point, not any other uh, investigations or any other threats. Yeah, what I can say is that we would not be at this point without the bravery and courage of the Sikh community coming forward uh, for Hardeep Nijar's uh, murder investigation. They were brave and courageous to come forward, and I believe that they would continue to do that for future investigations as well. I'll turn it over to Assistant Commissioner. So, um, again, I mentioned this earlier, and it, it speaks to several of your questions. There are um, several uh, ongoing investigations uh, currently in a lot of the matters that you are curious about. Of course, there are active investigations. For the integrity of these investigations, we will not comment any further about the nature of the offenses under investigation or who's under investigation. Um, but, uh, and to your earlier questions, there's uh, collaboration through a variety of units. Remember the federal policing program uh, and the RCMP is a broad, wide, nationwide organization. And um, within federal policing alone, there's also several programs that are uh, involved or taking conduct of the, un the investigations underway. Has the Indian Council contacted, uh, have they contacted the uh, requested information regarding the citizen? So has the Indian Con Council, Indian Council ha have they requested any information regarding the, the people that have been arrested? Uh, I will not comment on any communication uh, with uh, consular officials or, uh, uh, or, or these things, no. about the start of the conspiracy according to the CSO entry it was May 1st of 2023 could it have gone back earlier are these people potentially sleeper agents that have been in the country for a number of years so great question thank you um, we're not at liberty to answer that specific question of course because they are a matter it is a great question but it is a matter very much at the center of, uh, of evidence and uh, ongoing investigations I call. Um, do you have the, just a list? I'll translate uh, the list of names. Uh, Monsieur Karen Borhar, uh, 22 ans, uh, citoyen de l'Inde, uh, qui résidait à Edmonton, en Alberta. Uh, Monsieur Kamal Preet Singh, aussi également 22 ans et également un citoyen indien et uh, uh, résident de l'Alberta, uh, d'Edmonton particulièrement. Monsieur Karen Preet Singh, uh, âgé de 28 ans, aussi citoyen indien et euh, résident de Edmonton, en Alberta. Depuis combien de temps étaient-ils au euh, Différentes euh, dates, mais ils sont arrivés en, dans, entre les trois et cinq dernières années. Et, et euh, avec leurs accusations aujourd'hui, que pouvez-vous nous dire sur leur connexion avec d'autres hommes Avec la connexion de ces trois hommes avec d'autres euh, euh, conspirations euh, Écoutez, euh, ces trois individus sont, ont été arrêtés aujourd'hui et, et mis en accusation ou sous accusation, euh, particulièrement avec l'enquête euh, des homicides. Et euh, les autres enquêtes qui sont en cours, évidemment, je, peux, je ne peux pas faire de commentaires sur euh, l'implication de ces individus ou de d'autres individus dans les enquêtes qui sont en cours. No. And like is it okay that they were 
were, or was the belief that they were living in Edmonton at the time broke to Surrey and then broke back? Yes. And can you talk a little bit more how they even came to your radar? Like, I appreciate you can't go full into details, but, you know, any sort of inkling on how they kind of came to your radar? Yeah, I won't be able to speak to that because that directly goes into the evidence in regards to how they were identified, um, which I won't be able to speak to. Does RCMP have grounds to believe that these three men were in Surrey at the time uh, of these teenagers were shot? Yes. Any more details on the vehicle other than it being a parole? Do we know anything else? Um, I would have to get back to you in regards to further details, but I'm sure uh, Sergeant Parati would be able to release that information. Are there grounds to believe that these individuals arrived on a student visa? Again, I'm not able to speak to the immigration status. Uh, are these suspects related to the officially uh, gone in India? I believe uh, Assistant Commissioner will uh, answer that previously. We're not able to speak to that piece. <clears throat> Given that you're not allowed to share a lot of the evidence and motives that you've gathered, what is your message to the community who is probably having all kinds of speculations about what occurred right now? Uh, my messaging to the community would be that uh, the RCMP as a whole um, works to give, together collaboratively uh, along with all of our agencies across Canada to make sure that we provide justice uh, to those people that are put in these positions by these offenders. Before in between May 1st and the date of Mr. Najjar's killing last year, how many times were the suspects in surgery? I don't have that information. You talked about the community uh, helping a lot with investigations. How, how important were they in, in finding these men? I would say instrumental. Can you stand on that? I cannot, because that would go directly to their evidence. Are people in the community that still have threats against their lives walking around now? What would be the message to them? Um, I would say if there is a threat uh, and they feel a threat, please contact the police and, and, and let us investigate that and feel comfort in the, in the level of uh, investigation that we've done, not only in this investigation but for others, leading us to us being able to charge three individuals for the murder of Mr. Niger. So from the related questions I, I see, listen, the RCMP uh, is always extremely concerned and very focused on public safety matters, of course, and the, the safety, uh, the personal safety of any and all of our citizens. So we take all of these uh, information that come to our attention very seriously uh, in all business lines of the RCMP, from the detachment to, of course, homicide investigations to federal policing. To your question about uh, former duty to warrants, I will uh, uh, repeat the same thing. We, every piece of information that we, that we receive uh, is examined and we have, and, and in many cases, it, it has triggered in the past, as you are alluding to, uh, obligations for duty to warrants. We have a very uh, elaborate and strict protocol when it comes to that. Uh, we don't mess around with, uh, with uh, threats that we may uh, receive, and we, are, uh, we engage in those duty to warrants very quickly. Well, listen, every time you take dangerous off offenders off the street, um, it, it's, it, uh, it, it's, it significantly mitigates uh, issues of public safety, for sure. You won't say whether they're linked to any of the other duty warrants? Uh, I can't get into that, specifically. These uh, three people were recently arrived in the country in the last three years. RCMP is probably looking more, might have already looked at their background. Uh, for that information, have you reached out to the government of India? or if you are going to reach out, how is that working out for us here? So I could tell you that, uh, again, as I stated earlier, we very much welcome uh, collaboration with the government of India, and it's uh, certainly uh, its law enforcement agency from, from a police to police. Uh, and I can't comment on, on uh, further on previous communications with these agencies. Where else have they resided in Canada in the three to five years they've been there? I can only speak to them residing in Edmonton currently. Um, however, I don't have that information. Have the three suspects since they arrived to change their facial features or anything? Uh, yes.
Merci tout le monde. Thank you everybody. Uh, J'ai manqué mon chance de lire les commentaires de M. Mooker, uh, Superintendent Mooker. Si tu veux que je lis ces commentaires en français, on peut parler après. Um, thank you everybody for coming out today. Thanks.